Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. And I'm just playing in my book today as usual. And I got two uh, paints I think I want to mix together. Medium magenta and cadmium red deep hue. And I think they're both about out. Well, squirt-wise, they're about out. We don't waste nothing around there. And you see how much is in that one and how much is in that one. So, I think um, I took a little square and put it in the middle of his body. And... I think I'll go around the top up here because that's where I'm going to have to um, clip it. I think that's about all the red I want. So I take me a couple clippies and Just get a shorter one here. That seems to do the trick. I thought I was going to add some pink, and we may still add some pink. Go ahead and get that. And I keep going by this page and going by this page and keep telling myself, what am I going to do with it? I don't know about you all, but I, I seem to have a little more control with these little foamy brushes. I think I want some more pink. This page here is, uh, remember the back side is this one. So it's already stuck now, so I can't uh, lift it out. Wow, that color looks exactly like what she has already on some of these pages. You know, and coming in here, I was going to go over it in black. And, um... Totally changed my mind. And that's one of my big downfalls. I, I const constantly change my mind. I guess I'm constantly a brainstormer. I think a bunch of uh, crafters are brainstormers. We start out with something and change our mind midway through. I did want to go in here. I don't know if it really even matters if I get some on the sides there. Do I want to put any on his face? And I thought I would look for this stencil. And I thought, do I want to try to put eyes on him or face? I 
I don't know. Let's try it. Where, where can we go wrong? Like I've always said, it's just paper. Where can we go wrong? And I'm not trying to... No. That just... <laughs> We can fix it. We can fix it. It's just paper. Need to dry it a little bit and go over it with a marker. Let's see if I can. We may have not filled in enough. Let's see how that does. And I think the nose should have went more up this way. That looks a little better. Kind of needed hair or something up there also. No, that don't work like that. But you know, we may leave it that way. Who knows? And then I wanted to take these. Let me hit it with the dryer a second or two. the hard way that's an easy way to clean your desk off if you're in a pinch and want it cleared off in two seconds just turn the hair dryer on but anyway let's grab uh, I'm going with the Craft Smart White, which my mine you can see I've been over it with a couple other different things. Let me grab one of my little blocks over here. See how this works. Well, I don't think I really meant for, I really didn't want to. We'll take my maraschino cherry thing, put it there. Love it. Love it, love it, love it. Do we want to do that again? I don't know. Is it too many loop de loop -dees? Um, Grab this one. Let's see, let's grab that upper edge. It looks to be a little different. See, I'm not so sure I can stamp left-handed, but we'll just try to do it like that. I like that. I don't like what I did to his face, but... Um, I guess like he's missing hair or something. Uh, 
think that's about to give out. See, I don't know. I don't know if I want to leave it like that or what. Have no clue. No clue. I think you need a chin or something. Something of that nature. I think I've tickled it about enough. May end up putting a see if I want to oh heck let me put my cap on that before I forget. I need some kind of hair. I just don't know what. Okay, so let me put Clippy on top of this before I dry this whole thing out. And... Do we want to put anything else? You know, with my newfound stencil that I made the other day. Do I dare put anything else on this? Hmm. I think. I don't want to stick out a whole lot, but so I'm going to mix a little bit of purple with my my red. I just want a little bit of background noise. Do we do some on his arm? Let's try it and see. Yeah. Maybe. I even feel like some, a little bit of green. This background noise. I mean, what would it hurt? Kind of like it. We'll just go the opposite way with these up here. I 
me. What does it hurt? What does it hurt? I love it. Love it. Okay. That might be enough on that page. Take this away. And let me put a one of my collage sheet, the silicone over top of that. Wait a minute, let's hit it right quick with the hair dryer. this on it and then I thought maybe I want to do something over here I had these two heads sitting over here for the longest and then I found this shirt so I think and then I found these glass well the glasses went to the man that was uh, in this jacket so I stuck them over top it kind of looks, um, uh, I can't think of the name of the guy right now. Uh, that pop art looking stuff, that's, that's what I was going for. And then I thought I would take uh, one of these people. Well, let's try this one. I had cut this one out years ago. And I thought it would look good. It kind of looks just like... Now, this came out of a uh, grocery store ad. that uh, My local grocery store. But I'm pretty sure some better homes and gardens would have one of these. So, I thought, you know, the back side looks just like one of those Dina Wakely things. And I'm going to go around it with this same green. And we'll just see what we got. You know, this was uh, the page that had all the washi on it. And I painted uh, the right-hand side of it. Because I knew I wasn't going to use all that washi tape. And even someone said to... Um, I think I want a little bit of white in that. Someone said to, um, you know, they they didn't even paint the back. They just laid their uh, stencils right over top of this washi, which, which I thought was a great idea also. And as usual, I forget to put on gloves. And that's that. That might be the start of a page. Uh, I'm not digging it. Let's see what happens when we do this. Kind of getting back to what we done the other day. You know, just just try something. Now 
Well, for all that goes, I could have put my mask back back over it. But let's see. And do I want to hit it with this? Get my archival. And I don't know if this one's getting ready to run dry or what. And we'll leave that one like that. You know, just put something down till something sparks my interest. And, and then I had one more that I uh, still working on. My ugly, I call it my ugly page which this is the one that had all the circles, and then I mopped it up with all these other colors. And getting back to what Dina Wakely said, that if you didn't like it, you know, you can always uh, cover parts of it up. And... If I don't have to buy me two, two new things, every time I get in here, I have no glue. So, I happened to find this in that flower magazine. And, let's see how this does. I don't want to go away to the top on that base or this other base. I figured a lot of people would be using that same picture. I know I've used it before. This page is very, uh, here's my new word again, textury. And I fussy cut this one out last night, went all up in here. I went ahead and cut the vase to go in here. And then I found this one in the same magazine. It's very slick on the back side, so. Uh, how was I going to do that? That may have been under that. Let me switch sides because I was going to put it there. I think I want it to go under this one. See, when you can't remember, guys, you just have to improvise. You just have to improvise. What I say, I get to putting down too many collages, and, and then I can't remember what's what. And it's probably all for the better, because I had this tall one going over here, and I was going to have to whack half of it off. So maybe that was a happy accident. I wish I still had the, Let's see if we can pull that up. Thank you. Thank you, lady. Much better, much better. Just go over top of that and just smear it on the edge there. Let 
Maybe the, the glue stick was a godsend. That way I can push it all up into that. I couldn't even tell you how long I've had this board here with these swirlies on it. So I just keep tossing it aside and tossing it aside. And I actually, I actually uh, chucked a bunch of it the other day. I said, you know, just how many, you know, how many pieces can you keep? And I got drawers upon drawers of uh, scraps. Oh, and I gave, well, my granddaughter was over here the other day. She wanted to do some art with me, so I helped her draw a flower, and I gave her a ton of uh, all my 12 by 12s that I don't use, and, you know, she wanted scrap paper to draw on, and I thought she liked it so much because it had all the pretty um, things on the front, and then, you know, she could draw all over the back with them. I said, you are more than welcome to have them, because how, how much of that stuff can we keep? And that was the back of that one, which I've yet to do something with. I guess we can fold that flower over. But there you go, and I hope you enjoyed it today, and um, could hit that like button, hit the subscribe button, and as always, see you tomorrow.